Ever wondered what cc means in a car? You've probably seen terms like 1000 cc, 1500 cc, or 2000 cc when buying a car or motorbike. But what does it actually mean? And how do you calculate it? Well, let's break it down in the simplest way possible. What is cc? cc stands for cubic centimeters, and it refers to the engine displacement, basically the total volume of all the cylinders in the engine. A higher cc means the engine is bigger, can take in more air and fuel, and generally produces more power. But does higher cc always mean better performance? Not necessarily. We'll get into that in a bit, but first, let's understand how cc is calculated. The engine displacement, measured in cubic centimeters cc, can be calculated using the formula. Cubic centimeters cc equals 2 pi divided by 4 multiply by the bore squared, multiply by the stroke, multiply by the number of cylinders. Here, bore represents the diameter of the cylinder. Stroke is the distance the piston travels up and down, and number of cylinders is the total count of cylinders within the engine. For instance, consider a four-cylinder engine with a bore of 8 centimeters and a stroke of 10 centimeters. Applying the formula, we get Cubic centimeters cc equals 3.1416 divided by 4, multiplied by 8 times 8, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 4. This calculation results in 2,010.6 cubic centimeters, which is typically rounded to approximately 2,000 cubic centimeters, indicating a 2.0 liter engine. Not always. While a higher CC engine generally produces more power, other factors like turbocharging, engine efficiency, weight, and aerodynamics also matter. For example, a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine can produce power similar to a 2.0 liter naturally aspirated engine while consuming less fuel. Hope this helped you understand CC in a car. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more automotive insights. See you next one.